Hi, Leo. Welcome to Archer Astrology. Tis I, the one and only Archer. What up? Now, Leo, tis time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind for June of 2023 when you clicked on this reading and decided to hang out with moi for just a wee little bit. How you doing? What's up? Which I do appreciate, actually. I appreciate you loving that like, subscribing, and setting that bell to all notifications. It's what us, the real readers of YouTube, do. And this is a big thing. I am actually linking last Thursday night's live all signs to this because this is a news, a brand new news breaking top story here. Like, like this is we interrupt your regularly scheduled Archer programming. OK, the Archer Broadcasting Corporation, because we have the Aquarian artificial intelligence influence has made it to tarot. There is now fake tarot and we're going full on Donald Trump fake news in this shit right to the wall. So go check out that. It's got all the details about it and support your favorite real tarot reader remember you can see hands and faces it's a real tarot reader if it's just a picture it's not real. go check it out it's down look it up it's down in the description box all right so that's a big deal hashtag ai tarot hashtag fake tarot yeah so but then mind for the month of june we are going to take a safe and protected trip through the zodiac neighborhoods real estate and investments could be big focal points for a lot of the signs and placements within your chart leo so we will take a look at everything evaluate the situation decide what is best to put a bid on as we start the furthest away from downtown out in the beautiful highlands where they still have horse stables and white picket fences it's just beautiful that's where aries and taurus live then you get into the suburbs and that's where gemini cancer and you live this is where you still have cornhole and people still play music really loud in their garages on Saturdays and there's block parties and there's sub wide sub sales and garage sales. That's everything. It's fun times. Everybody's cool. They all get along. Then you move through Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. These are a little more established communities who just kind of like they don't want you playing around on their grass and and they, you know, they still keep everything locked up. All the windows are closed up and you just leave us alone. We're enjoying our retirement. And then you have Sagittarius and Capricorn getting a little closer to the neighborhood, to the downtown district. This is where they're BRR in their little butts off and they're buying up old places, renovating them, running them out. So not only they're making bank, they're also helping people, putting them into homes. It's a beautiful area. Then we move into downtown with Aquarius and Pisces. These are the old industrial buildings from the late turn of the century industrial age that have been converted into beautiful luxury apartments and they're overpriced and you still lock your doors when you drive through the neighborhood, but Aquarius and Pisces get it. So if you just leave them alone, they just do their thing. All right. So with that in mind, we are going to check all the signs and placements because Gemini is still a heavy player for the month of June with the sun in Gemini before it goes into cancer. And then Mercury on its way into Gemini after that wonderful retrograde we dealt with in Taurus. And then you also have a new moon at the end of the month in Gemini at the last decade at the far end, almost a Gemini Cancer Cusper new moon. It's going to be an interesting one. And you couple that up to Gemini's opposing, opposing, who's making up their own words here? Sign of Sagittarius. That's the full moon, the strawberry full moon. And that's the let's do it, put on the gas energy out of this full moon. So let's see what you've done been manifesting. All right, we're going to check it out. And with Venus moving from Cancer into your sign, joining Mars, that's two like cardinal energies with Cancer, Aries, all that. That's the man, the woman. That's going to be you starting to like embrace more of your feminine placements. If you're a masculine, your masculine placements. If you're a feminine, you're going to get a little more loving and caring or a little more confident and cocky. One of the two. But, you know, we're going to take it from there. I see a Leo actually using work as a safety blanket. But this affects your work. All right. Interesting. All right, with that in mind, we're going this way. I just felt intuitively pulled. That might be for someone. I don't know. All right, let's grab the Sagi Talk deck and the Baba Boy, Baba Boy, Howard Stern here, Batmobile deck, and see what we got for where you've been, where you are right now, and where you might be going to, Leo. Let's do it to it. We are ready and open to the messages we are about to receive, so long as they're for Leo's highest and greatest good only. Por favor, please, and thank you. No problemo. Awesome. Let's go for it. Okay. Two shuffles for Leo. Here we go for June of 2023. One and whoop, hold that. You always do that to my deck, Leo. Stop it. My deck. My deck. And two. Let's love this deck for the inimitable Leos. All right, here we go. From the deck, Leo, Leo, Leo is the five of swords. You are feeling some kind of sense of defeat. And I, my intuitive messages originally, as I was shuffling, was it being about work. 
Maybe you feel defeated or overwhelmed at something at work. Four of Cups energy. Cancer and Aquarius energy comes out on this one. Because there's something Ace of Cups that you're working on behind the scenes because it's had something that's been making you feel down for a long time. Five Cups, Scorpio energy. All right, let's check it out. You know, it may be like, like someone that you work with has like the same name as somebody that you that from your past or something. Tower moment, death card. Whoa, heavy Scorpio. Holy crap, we just had a Scorpio infestation. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius. Communication, something you've been talking about with spirit, about some kind of a like a complete derailment at the Amtrak station and a new beginning that is required. Something freaking hits you right out of the gate hardcore, Leo. What the frick? And you don't talk about it. It's like an energetical talk about it because something you feel has been coming in because we have tower moments in, in our lives that can be good and bad. It can be the, oh, shit, I burned my house down or the, oh, shit, I got a new house. You know, that sort of a thing. So I see it's like it's it's like something like like it's like they're your manager at work and you guys had some kind of a fight outside of work. And it's like but you still have to like see them and pretend like nothing ever happened and just talk normal, play nice now, you know, that sort of a thing. Interesting. Ace of Swords to the Four of Wands. It's kind of like it's a wish that you made that came out of a past of like a serious past trauma situation here. Sinking of the Titanic moment. Could be a twinning connection as well because these do pull Aries and Scorpio energy off of these. So I'm seeing um, one of the most common twin flame connections in there. And that is very heavy this month in the energies right there. But what you're wondering here, this is like you're like you're wondering why this fight is not affecting them. Like, why is it not affecting them? Like, why is it not affecting you? This was a fight or a communication that nobody saw coming. It's like everything bottles up and builds up on this tower to the death card, building towards something that's coming, like an end going. It's like the lookout in the crow's nest, knowing there's the iceberg in front of the ship. And like having like it's like if Frederick Fleet had an intuition moment and that iceberg is like there is some because they actually he mentioned it in the freaking investigations and the inquiries after the sinking where he said it's a thing for lookouts. You can smell ice in the air. He intuitively had an idea that something was in front of that ship, but you don't see it coming. And all of a sudden it's like an eight of wands communication and Sagittarius is they know how to use their mouth. They will keep their mouth quiet until it's time to talk and at that point you better freaking listen this is something that came out of the blue that you did not expect and now you're supposed to just be nice and behave and you're just sitting there wishing that it would just stop or go away it's it's like why does nobody ever care about leo why is it like this did not even affect them and and it kind of like has you in frustration and i see a necklace that could mean something to someone here like i see a mother like clutching the necklace and just being like, like, dear God, give me strength to help me through the yet another problem in my life and starting to like, just not even want to clutch the cross and just be like, whatever, that's what it is. Energy kind of going on. When you cut the death card of the tower moment, it shows how spirit will interject things into our lives. We will, we will have tower moments to guide us back onto course when we are not looking out for our own highest and greatest good. And this is something that both of you guys could have had with this Ace of Swords to the completion point. But Four of Wands is getting the wish and getting what you want. Aries energy, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Air Dude, there is some heavy fire in this sign. And you guys usually all get along quite well. You also have Libra, though, with that Ace of Swords of just wanting to find some kind of balance and just it could be that wish that you had, you know. And when you don't see something coming like that, it can get really bad. All right. Give me clarifiers on this. Clarifiers on the death card to the tower to the eight of wands. There is something you feel happening that came out of this. It hit like a freaking fart in the night that you did not see coming. And that is freaking dangerous. Um, it's fast moving energy coming in. Eight of wands is like the chariot with high octane racing fuel in the gas tank. OK, could be cancer or Sagittarius that might ring out or mean something to you. And you're just like, hmm. And then that's gets you starting to feel a little nervous. Start getting a little more nervous, like a long tail cat in a room full of rocking chairs, you know, because like somebody started getting jealous. Third party interference started coming in on this tower to the ace of swords. And it's it's like it's like I'm now I'm seeing a ring. Jewelry means something to somebody big friggin time because it's like it's like a promise ring, Leo. It's like a freaking promise ring, Leo. Let's see here. And, you know, mm, it drives me completely batty. And maybe that's how you're feeling right now when people don't respect the ring don't respect a promise you know that kind of a thing it's kind of like that feeling mm, kind of like that feeling the moment when you're in the shower and the ring just kind of slides off and almost goes down the drain and that 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 empty heart feeling of oh my god 
just before you bend down and recover the ring. Yeah, exactly. Somebody felt like there was there was promises not kept or words not said. Give me clarifiers on this. Let's go for it. I appreciate you for being here. Well, we're stopping at the three of wands. More Aries energy. Three up to a four. Yeah, this was something that Spirit interjected with. I literally just want to stop because the Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. I'm intuitively being told to stop. That means we don't go anymore, okay? Ace of Swords is right here. Ace of Swords is right here. You guys are mirroring, like, heavy duty. I even see, like, Alice in Wonderland, like, the sequel to it. Jabberwocky could mean something to somebody. Yeah, no. And, like, looking in the mirror and seeing, like, this mm, looking back at you. And, and just being like, what has happened to everything in this situation? And just wanting something, you know, just wanting something to come with the Wheel of Fortune. Roto Rooter shows up to clear out this energy from this tower. Spirit had to have this tower moment happen because one of the both of you were not hitting it on the same wavelength. You guys were not tuning them guitars properly. This like, does this sound like an E? Plunk, 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 plunk. Does this sound like an E? Plunk, plunk, plunk. Oh, it's fine. Let's go. We're good. People didn't slow down and think and look things through. You know, it's 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 like I see someone telling them, that they mean everything to them and and that they're ready to go they're ready to go to the bar and then the ring gets taken off and it gets left in a drawer you know they'll sweet talk and say whatever they need to say to get the point across three of pentacles but then when they want to go out you know it's like they leave for the evening and you look in the drawer and all of a sudden wait a second what's the engagement ring doing in there what's the promise ring doing in there what hold on you know some people understand how to keep the freaking ring on right that sort of a thing but it was like this created a situation or an error because somebody felt like a promise was broken. And it, it's not how that works. That's not how promises work. They feel like a promise was broken. Nine of swords. Gemini energy on the ace of swords. And there's your ten swords in mathematical terms. And I happen to love math, Leo. Math is the only thing in the universe that will not, cannot lie. Two plus two will always equal four. And it's like somebody here with this energy was up in their fields going, no, two plus two is five. And that is what it is. No, no, it's four. No, no, it's five. Okay, I just wish somebody would just pull it together. That sort of a thing. And it has you extremely confused, princess of cups, literally like begging for your wish. It's a page energy. It's immaturity showing up. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the current energies at Leo. You might enjoy maybe gambling or playing card games. I see like maybe not even just like blackjack and 21, but with that pair of aces, I see even like depending on where you are, it could just be straight up poker or blackjack, but you might be in them golden years and you enjoy your euchre or, or bridge or whatever. I, don't know. I played I played all those. Every game I listed, I played. They're all fun. I don't give a shit. They're all fun. All right. And they all involve. Dude, you're like confused as F because you're like freaking. Yeah, you're freaking Harry carrying on yourself. You're sitting there going. This was something I did not expect, and all I want is an ice cold Budweiser. Okay, I get you, Leo. Let's see what's going on. I get you, got you, got you back. All right. Let's see. You're. You, it's like. It's like when someone gets so frustrated, someone's attention isn't focused in their high priorities. Like they, you, they get like lower down on the priority board, and this leads to fights. Maybe the kids hear it, or the neighbors hear it. Maybe you got an apartment with some really thin walls, or you forgot left a couple windows open that night. I don't know. Let's find out. All right. Current energies at Leo. Here we go. Let's do it. Fights that don't need to happen all the time. And it's like this, these, these, these types of fights have plagued themselves forever. The fool energy, the fool and the six of cups. You miss happy times and you want that pleasure feeling that, that new beginning. This is something that goes deep and you guys miss each other, but your needles keep getting stuck in the stuck, in the stuck, in the stuck, in the stuck, in the groove. And you feel very confused about it and unsure how to go forward. And with Pluto retrograding into Capricorn for a wee little bit before he goes back into Aquarius, you're sitting there. You might have deja vu going on or experiencing some weird things about that. Again, attention, lies, deception, high priestess, shit and secrets being kept. Now, back way back in the Rider Waite days, I know pop culture relates this to Cancer and Pisces. They already got the moon card. They already got enough. They're sharing. In reality, the high priestess is ironclad secrets it's ironclad secrets and back years ago when rider weight was first drawing this stuff up sitting out in his driveway like bob ross i was a neighbor he was he, he kept to himself it was cool but back in that day this was actually cancer and virgo energy both those shells the hermit shell the chariot's molecular bonded shell of something being kept ironclad about peace tranquility and a new beginning which you would like to have ten of pentacles to the eight of pentacles to judgment yeah. Did I not mention that this was like something at work when I was talking about like the boss or the manager that like you had a weird falling out off the clock thing and, and sitting back going, why did I dip the pen in the company ink? Oops, should have bought my own pen to work. 
but you guys share an interest that if you guys came together and admitted both, it takes two to start a fight. It takes two to fix the problem. If y'all both broke it, one can't just go, well, I'll just leave this here. You figure it out. I'll be back. It don't work that way. You can't balance the skills. You throw all the shit on one of the buckets, right? And that's what's coming in because deep down, you both want this new beginning. You're reflecting it onto each other and you, they miss you. Leo, they freaking miss you. They miss the good times and what you had and how you guys were silly. Straight up fool on this one. Look, because he ain't jumping off on this one. He's like, oh, look what I can do. It's like Stuart from Mad TV. Look what I can do. I can get bank. I can get bread. And you guys want to heal this. And did I, dude, I just, whoa, I just got some chills up inside of it. Because did I not mention that Ryder Waite was the Bob Ross sitting in his driveway. And this is the Bob Ross Otero of you guys wanting to work together to patch that up and putting in the hard work together to heal this thing and bring some justice. You, like I said, you can't put all the poop in one plate, right? Exactly. All right. So let's get some clarifiers on this because spirit keeps trying to correct you. They keep putting these tower moments out. They keep doing it to both you guys. I'm seeing that off of this. Aries, Virgo energy, heavy Virgo on this one. I'm pulling along with uh, some, some more friggin' Cappy. Yeah. yeah. So earth energy, grounding you out. You guys are both grounding out and becoming stable. Scorpio and Aries still hanging out. Still got that twinning connection showing up. Mirroring heavy. The spirit's trying to correct the both of you because spirit will continue to cause these similar situations. They'll leave that needle stuck in the groove because you tick spirit off, man. They're a fickle old gal. You know, spirit don't want to hear it every morning. It's like freaking old man McKenzie yelling at you. Get across. Every morning you run across my lawn. I just had that cut. Get off my lawn. Nervous as a long tail cat in a room full of rocking chairs. And you both feeling this stuff. You know, it's like, it's like, I just cut that. Get off it. Don't touch. Spirit will allow you. They will warn you once that that stove is hot. But if you keep going, but can I touch it? No squeezy, no squeezy, baby Yoda. Spirit will sit back and go, go ahead. You keep feeling the heat from that stove on you and something like that. And spirit will let you continue to touch the stove until you realize, hmm, maybe I shouldn't do that. And they're doing it to both you all. That's the heavy mirroring coming out of this twinning here. You keep feeling that heat. Spirit will eventually just grab popcorn and an old school folding lawn chair. Those ones that leave those weird webbing lines in your butt. And what is this? Nine of cups. And spirit will just enjoy the freaking show. Hope you all enjoy the show. 20 years ago, 20 could mean something. Or 10, 10 could mean something. Anyways, I am now fumbling the cards, much like I always do for you, Leo. Let's take it from there, shall we? We shall. All right, clarifiers onto this. That's where you're at. You might even be starting to notice these patterns and synchronicities and feeling like something is coming your way. 10 pentacles. Holy crap. This is like double trip confirmation. Did I not just bring up the 10, 10 thing? Did I not just bring up the Bob Ross thing? When stuff starts coming out here before it comes here, spirits confirming archers on point. Y'all might want to listen to them. If you don't want to, you can go and keep touching the stove. But if you don't mind, you can always turn to listen to them right here and see what it's all about with that ten of pentacles. Because you guys come back together, brings this completion. You both are passing test AF on point and hitting it on all eight cylinders. Look who returned. The nine of cups is back. This one, Pisces energy that freaking flubbed up this thing. Pisces jumped in. is like, hang on, archer. Wait, wait. Can't everybody just be happy? That's all Pisces wants. Just can't everybody be happy? Heavy Pisces on Virgo to the four of pentacles. This is it. You guys are protecting your energies. And there is some freaking bank being made here. I'm seeing a secret bank account. Somebody's got a secret bank account. And they're not telling. Might be you. Might be them. Queen of Swords. Somebody just got pissed off that I just told. <laughs> Queen of Swords. More Gemini energy. This is like, dude, it's like when you get to the airport and for a million times you have tried every time because you go and you check your baggage and you check the bed, queen of cups you check the baggage you you got dude freaking love man love is all you need i mean money's fun too but love is all you need but money really helps it, money's fun too trust me okay but yeah it's like every time you go to the airport you prep your carry-on you've got it on scales at home and everything you get to the airport and they've lost the baggage check and the and it's always like one pound over and you got to freaking check the thing and it's like that keeps happening and you're sitting there every time you get on the plane, you're like, I just want peanuts now because this is every time every I have taken out shoes. I've taken out clothes. I've taken out makeup and it's still, I, can't, I just want it in the overhead. And then this one time you guys show up because somebody said, Hey, and somebody's like, are you okay? Yeah, let's talk. And as we get your queen of cups, prince of wands to the ace of pentacles. And here's that new beginning. Oh my goodness. These pentacles go to 11 spinal tap. These pentacles go to 11. Okay. What's a potential future outcome for Leo? As we go forward, if we program Leo's chariot's GPS for destinations and series unknown, because I see a Leo that could have been feeling black for quite some time. And for me to mention programming your GPS, that's a cancer reference. And of course, my chariot's kit. Hi, kid. Good job, buddy. Good car. Anyways, um, so yeah, 
that something could rain out or you might have cancer placements or be a cancer Leo Cusper. But however, right now you got earth energy up your behind big time. Like somebody is so far up their butt on this one, wanting to do something about it, that the only light they're seeing is coming out their pile. Interesting. Okay. Give me a potential future outcome for my lovely Leo. So this looks like an idea. What do we got? Holy crap. The nine of cups just pop jumped again. Pisces keeps like popping out of my deck, like a fish out of water. What the frick is that all about? Oh my God. Right there. Yeah. Nine of cups under the nine of cups, nine, nine and 10, 10 could be two numbers that rain out to you. And for some reason right now, yellow means something you see yellow and it changes your feelings with the six of wands. Oh my God. Freaking victory, victory in the outcome with the Prince of cups programming received GPS program. That's the end of it with a whole new world beginning. This is something you ain't expected. This chair is going all the way to six or seven or who freaking knows on this. Caitlin Petty shows up doing all eight of her songs live on stage in front of like 50,000 people, Shea Stadium stuff. Caitlin, if you are a freaking Leo, I swear to God, I gave up Leos for Lent. I really got to start giving up stuff for giving up stuff for Lent for Lent. That would just make life way easier. Then that would be a victory. Leo, you're feeling it. You're doing really good. And Caitlin, you still owe me a freaking guitar pick from my Wrangler's mirror. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Prince of Cups. I'm patiently waiting. Tempers. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> Just like, Leo, that could be what's going on. And look at how these the, the cups flowing out of this one are yellow. This is happiness because you guys get it. You get along and it starts going again. It's like you guys come together. The shit stops happening, you know, because like somebody freaking misses it. You guys like share chicken nuggets together. And you've been sitting here forever being like, I don't have anyone to share my nuggets with, Archer. I, I don't have anyone to steal French fries from, Archer. I don't have anyone to share a tuna sandwich with, Archer. I'm, I'm going to get fat if I have to eat all my own food by myself. And I don't have anybody else's food to steal. And as somebody comes in and goes, hey, want a nugget? You're like, oh, it's you. And then you guys go forward, nine of cups to the Prince of the Swords. All it takes is you want a nugget? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Two of wands. Making a choice when you come to that energetical fork in the road, Knight of Swords, and getting forward with it. Goose and Maverick show up, dive bombing in for a five of cups. Something that is so overwhelming that you feel like if it's too good to be true, it possibly is. Mm -mm. Six of Wands is the outcome. How do you make sadness look happy? Maybe because you use that sadness to propel forward. Because remember what I said? It takes two to start a fight. It takes two to fix the fight. So... And that Knight of Swords on the Prince of Swords shows dual communication. Knight and the Prince is of Swords. It's young. It's immature. It's silly. It's fun. Whatever. Right? You guys are back to the beginnings, back to the basics. Both parties have taken responsibility for both parties' actions. Hold on. The decks are all flubby dubby. I'm running out of table room for you, Leo. It always happens. Anyways, we need clarifiers on this. You got, dude, that earth energy is going into water again and swords. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, that's like swords in the water for it. But anyway, so let's see. You guys are quite comfortable. You're working together. You Those jokes from the past are back. Making fun of each other for what, what bummed you out because it's like, it's like those weird. Like anybody else would look at you guys in the future and be like, what's their problem? Are they making fun of each other? But they're laughing and you guys are in the back corner being like, oh yeah, remember that? Remember that? Dude, you guys actually, it's like fun banter. And there you are in the outcome at the bottom with the sun. Happiness. How do you go with this Pisces Leo energy? Nine of cups to the sun for happiness. Yeah, with justice. Okay, I've never passed a bar exam a day in my life. I have no legal knowledge. Oh, I've passed bar exams in my 20s, Leo. I passed them with flying colors. However, this is the balancing of all the chakras. Look at the heart and the brain and everything in there. You find happiness, seven of pentacles, that goes the freaking distance. Seven, seven also being a number that rings out or could be a Cancerian. And we have mirroring here. The Cancer Leo soap opera may continue with Scorpio watching. And we're, dude, I already have a nine of cups up over here. I don't know if I can get another nine of cups on this one because this is that mirroring and a switch, a flip flop crisscross applesauce in the dynamics that brings you guys together. Eight of swords. You guys are energetically connected and you are using that energy together. You're up in your head about this long time with the hero font. Me love you long time right there. You got five dollars. It'll make you holler with this one because you guys level up come in together and and use it to to go the distance this is harmony and balance and seeking out the knowledge on that two of wands which we have taurus clarifying um taurus clarifying aries to the four of swords four four being another number to the six of pentacles and the ace of pentacles see you build on the disappointment instead of swallowing it and bottling it up you guys address the situations and it's what you use to manifest more beginnings three aces one 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 Actually, there's four too. You could just have four aces and you got a four here. That's two one one ones. That's two 11 11s. Told you, heavy mirroring and heavy twinning. 
because we have had a meeting of the minds. We have worked through the issues instead of bottling it up. And we have seen the light to go forward for victory. Dude, how can you not? You've got double Leo at the bottom of the freaking. Both my freaking decks have Leo at the bottom of them. Six of wands to the freaking sun. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm out. Leo took over the decks again. <laughs> That's right. I'll be back in the morning. I'll punch back in. Oh, Leo, this is a very good reading. You got a lot going on. I probably ran way too long, but whatever. It's what we had to do. If you appreciated it, love that like for me. Set the bell to all notifications and subscribe. We go live every Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Join me along with J-Dub and the Mod Squad down in the chat for a good tarot and chill time. And come and hang out Sunday nights at 9 p.m. for Archer's Lounge. It's just a little chat room where we just hang out, make friends and family. It is a fun place and a safe place to meet. Always protected. And remember, remember, Leo, this will resonate to any and all placements within your chart of Leo because we are FHA compliant at Archer Astrology and will read for any sign or placement which desires and inquires. Email me for a personal reading if you wish to do so, two of one style at archerastrology at gmail.com. Otherwise, just relax and enjoy because you are the bomb. Leo, love and appreciate you. Until next time, peace out, Archer. Yeah, share it.